company and other officials are looking into what caused 13 people, most of them kids, to be treated and then taken to a local hospital from this Mission Valley YMCA. It's a pretty uh Parenting experience for all the parents were all pretty shook up about it. Will Butcher is just one of the many parents completely terrified at the scene of flashing lights from first responders Thursday night. The crew were responding to a scene at the Mission Valley YMCA. Butcher tells me his two boys, who are 12 and 9, were at swim practice when... And there was an incident, I guess, when they were backwashing and it looked like some of the hydrochloric gas may have come up. Um, and as a result, a lot of the kids breathed it in those burning burning lungs shortly after 6 p.m. fire crews arrived to find nearly a dozen kids and some adults dealing with illness at the outside pool it sounds like there may have been a, a potential uh, chlorine or some type of chemical release through normal uh, pool maintenance operations a moment that was far from frightening for those like butcher well any parent when they see their kids in duress they're going to be worried and concerned um, it's a very familial group, the kids on the swim team, so all the parents were collectively worried about not only their children, but the other children that were affected by this event. Butcher tells me his kids were exposed to what happened. Hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll do a little better, but obviously they're pretty shook up. The fire department says environmental health and hazmat units are looking into what happened while working with the YMCA to pinpoint the cause of it. The YMCA of San Diego County saying in a statement about Thursday's incident in part, quote, the safety of children, members and our staff is the number one priority at the YMCA of San Diego County. We are in direct communication with the families involved in working closely with public officials, end quote. In Mission Valley, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.